Greetings everyone, King Toriho here, and uh, I've gotten pretty far in uh, Legend of Dead Kel, the uh, expansion for Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning, or the, the downloadable content. And I want to show off some of the armor sets and weapons that I've gotten so far, so uh, I'll show you some of these purples and yellows. So I mainly played as a finesse class, and fortunately that was uh, the majority of the armor I got. I did get some other pieces, uh, but I did get... Three. I didn't get a full uh, set of anything yet. I'm still working on uh, completing every side quest and literally trying to go through every treasure chest uh, that I can find. So uh, my finesse set includes uh, the Privateer's Hood, um, the Corsair's Shirt, uh, which is the swashbuckling um, overcoat looking thing, and last is the awesome looking Pirate Boots, which are called Ocean's Gift. Uh, these are all really cool. Uh, I like the whole pirate getup. Uh, it makes me uh, look like a pirate. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get a pair of gloves. Uh, the pants uh, aren't going to really matter that much, I don't think. Uh, but hopefully I'll get a nice pair of gloves. Um, I will try to show off the might and sorcery um, armor sets uh, if I get more pieces to them. And uh, let's go ahead and move on to the weapons. So while I played a finesse character, unfortunately I didn't get a bow, fey blades, or daggers uh, in my experience so far with the Legend of Dead Kel. Uh, I'll keep searching, but I did get some pretty cool weapons, so I'll go ahead and show those off. Uh, the first is Torment. This is a longsword. Uh, small spoiler alert, uh, mute your YouTube uh, if you don't want to hear it uh, until I move on to the next one. But this is the sword that is dropped by Dead Kel. Uh, at least it was in my game, uh, and it says so in the description. Uh, it looks pretty cool, but it's a pretty standard longsword. Um, nothing too spectacular on it. Uh, next up we have the Harpy. Uh, the Harpy is probably my favorite great sword that I've seen so far. It's got a beautiful woman on it. Uh, it's giant. Uh, it's massive. And it uh, looks pretty badass. So I really like uh, this as a great sword. Uh, next up is the Spine. Uh, the Spine, as alluded to in my previous video and on the Reckoning.com FAQ, this is a hammer uh, that's made out of the bone or the vertebrae of a giant monster so you can just see uh, the vertebrae there and how awesome that looks so if I was doing a might character or if I switch over to a might character uh, he'll probably be using this hammer uh, for at least for a little while uh, next up we have sea glass uh, this is the staff uh, for uh, you sorcery uh, builds out there uh, it's pretty powerful uh, I do like the look of it uh, it looks pretty cool and uh, it's uh, lightning damage uh, staff uh, next up is Baronet's Blades. This is from another boss battle. Uh, they look uh, definitely really cool uh, with the fire um, in them. And they're obviously fire. They're pretty powerful, 100 attack power uh, as well. And I ended up getting two scepters as well. The first is the Wavemaker, uh, which just looks like your pretty standard uh, uh, scepter. And last, my favorite, the Scuddler, which just sounds awesome. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see it in the YouTube video, but it, it wiggles. Um, so that, I mean, that to me, I just, I really like the Scuddler. So I, I might just go mage uh, just so I can use the Scuddler. Uh, I like the name of it. It sounds pretty cool. Also, guys, for you completionists out there and you guys who like to collect the armor sets or into that kind of thing like I am a little bit, uh, your once you build up your keep, you'll have uh, at least three vendors. I have three so far uh, that will sell complete sets. One sells a sorcery set, one sells uh, a finesse set, and one sells a might set. So you can go. Uh, I don't know what they look like yet. I haven't uh, purchased them. Uh, they can be rather expensive, and this tune was a lower level tune. Uh, so they were, the whole set was probably you know between five and eight hundred thousand gold. So uh, they're there uh, as an option. Um, so there's a whole another set that you can purchase as well as find when you're exploring uh, the Legend of Dead Kel. Well, guys, that's it for the video. Just want to show off uh, the armor that I picked up and some of the really cool weapons that I found. Uh, if I get any more of uh, uh, full armor sets or any more really cool weapons, I'll post another video if this gets a good response. As always, please remember to like and uh, favorite my videos and hit that subscribe button. Uh, don't make me whip out my scuddler. Uh, that's it, guys. Take care. Bye.